गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ए टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप अ पोम फ्रॉम योर मेन बुक हानी ड्यू वेल टू बिगिन विद लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू दैट दिस विल नॉट बी योर ज्योग्राफी क्लास बट we are doing a very interesting poem and the title of this poem is geography lesson and the poet is zulfikar ghosh now a brief about what we are going to enjoy in this poem well when you go around the city what do you see you see big buildings you see lot of people on the roads now the poet in this poem is watching the city from the high skies how does the pattern look like to the poet the poet is sharing his feelings in this beautiful poem about some questions that come to his mind so let us enjoy this poem when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had seeing it scaled 6 inches to the mile there seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned and without style when the jet sprang into the sky when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10000 feet when the jet rose 6 miles high it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land but it was difficult to understand that the men on earth around caused to hate each other to build walls across cities and to kill from that height it was not clear why So let us in, look into this poem again. The first stanza: When the spring sprang into the sky, it was clear why the city had developed the way it had. The jet is on the move. It has launched, and it is into the sky. Now, certain questions bother the poet. He is sitting, looking at the city. and trying to understand few things what looks on ground unplanned without style appears from the height of a jet a different look different the city looks planned beautifully planned the poet is seen from height Now the jet is gaining speed it has reached 10000 feet the poet can see rivers and all around rivers there are thickly populated civilization valleys now the geography logic is clear that land and water has always attracted man and that is why near rivers man has started civilization now the jet is rising higher the poet is seeing the earth round and also seeing that it has more sea than land but one thing is bothering the poet and that is why man is when the world looks so beautiful from a height why man 
on earth is causing hatred making boundaries of walls and demarcating the cities from that height it is not clear to the poet why man is indulging in such bad activities which is causing pollution which is causing hatred these questions are bothering the poet probably the message the poet is trying to give through the poem this beautiful simple poem is that we should learn to live in harmony with nature we should learn to live at peace with each other then only god who has made this world beautiful will remain beautiful and man has to take this initiative the man has to take this charge man has to learn this to create harmony among all living beings on earth then earth will really be a beautiful place to live thank you students hope you have understood the poem if you have any problem you can post your queries in the whatsapp group thank you